All right, so this is the boat that I use out on the river at nighttime. This is a 10 foot long Pelican Predator that I've gone about modifying. Up front here, you have a 50 pound thrust electric trolling motor. This is a Mini Coda. And I've got it up front because I'm usually out here by myself, spear fishing primarily at nighttime. So I have one hand on the tiller, one hand on my spear, and I usually get them before they even know I'm here. I also mentioned that it's modified. Going around the hull, integrated inside, right under the lip. I've got LEDs, and these are low voltage, high lumen LEDs, and they give me a 360 field view all the way around me here at nighttime. It allows me to see everything, I'm not going to run into a tree, nothing's going to really sneak up on me. In addition to the lights going all the way around, I also have a rig that allows me to see underwater. Over here, made out of PVC, and this is a bit of a hand built design, are three 10 volt waterproof underwater lights. And they simply sit on the side, I dunk them down, and it gives me a full field of vision all the way out under the water, kind of depending on how clear the water is, and it depends on uh, kind of what time of year you're looking at too. But I have my spears, uh, spear gun, this is usually what I use to finish things, and also a spear pole with the Hawaiian sling. But I have some fun out here, the river at nighttime comes alive, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like at nighttime in just a moment. All right, so this is the boat that I use out on the river at nighttime. This is a 10 foot long Pelican Predator that I've gone about modifying. Up front here, you have a 50 pound thrust electric trolling motor. This is a Mini Coda, and I've got it up front because I'm usually out here by myself, spear fishing primarily at nighttime. So I have one hand on the tiller, one hand on my spear, and I usually get them before they even know I'm here. I also mentioned that it's modified. Going around the whole